Hi everyone, this is Tracy from Snazzy Moon Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to put photos on a photo tumbler design. This video will show you how to take your photos and place them on a design you've purchased from Etsy or some other place and uh, take the photos and put it in that design. As you can see here on this screen, this is kind of what I'm talking about. You can purchase these designs and then take your own photos and uh, place them in the designs and print them out. So I will be showing you how to do that. Okay, so I use Affinity Designer software. It's uh, fairly inexpensive. It's a one-time purchase and um, I use it for about everything. And it's easy to learn and easy to use and it's great for sublimation. So we're going to open up our Affinity Designer, and I'm going to click right here for letter, 8.5 by 11. That's the format that I want to use. Come up here to Orientation. Click on Landscape Mode. should be 300 DPI, and then click Create. So here I have an 8.5 by 11 format, or template, if you will, with a transparent background. Now, if yours is not transparent, Click on Document Setup, and then click on Color, and then click this little checkbox right here so it says Transparent Background, and then click OK. Okay, so we have our, our template. Now we need to get our design that you have purchased from Etsy or some other place. So you click here on Place Image Tool. And then I've already purchased a couple, some designs right here. Actually, it was one purchase, but when you purchase a design, sometimes you'll get a design for a straight tumbler, and you'll get a design for a, um, oh, a tapered tumbler. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of. I only use 20-ounce uh, skinny straight tumblers. I don't want to mess with the tapered tumblers right now. That may be something I'll do in the future, but... For right now, I like 20 ounce skinny tumblers straight. So I'm going to select this design and then click on open and then click on the screen. And that will transfer it to my um, 8.5 by 11 format. Okay, so as you can see, if I click on this design and look down here to the right, the width of the design is 9.3, the height is 9 or 8.2. I like mine to be 9.4 by 8.2. That gives me a little bit of room. Not all tumblers are the same size, so um, if I print out 9.4 by 8.2, I have a little wiggle room there where I can trim the design down a little bit where I'm not having too much overlap on my tumbler. But it's not too short either. So I am going to make sure that this design is centered. So I can come up here to Alignment and click on Align Center and Align Center Vertically. So Align Horizontally and Align Vertically. Another way you could do it is this red line here shows your centered horizontally and this green line shows your centered vertically. So now my design is centered. Okay, so now we got to place our photographs in these little frames. You're going to click on Place Image Tool again. And I've got some sample photographs here that I downloaded from Pexels. Now make sure that the photographs you are going to use are fairly decent quality, uh, good resolution, not something blurry, you know, or low resolution, because when you print it on your Tumblr, it will show. So these are fairly good uh, high-resolution images that I downloaded here. And um, I just randomly downloaded some sample photographs. So, And another thing is your photographs do not have to be a certain shape. I mean, we can use any of these. So let's just take this one here, for example, and click Open, and then click on here. If you click on there, it's going to be really big. So we can shrink it down just by dragging the corner over. And then you can pick which um, place you want to put it. 
So I'm going to put this one right here. So I want to make it a little bit bigger. You want to try and keep it proportionate so don't drag the sides or the bottom because that's going to stretch it out or stretch it tall. Click the corners and that will keep the uh, shape of the photo. Okay, so now click over here on layers and you'll see this is our design and this is the photo that we just put on there. So you want this photo to be behind this design, not on top. Think of it as a layer or sheets of paper on top of each other. So right now this photo or sheet of paper, if you will, is on top of our design. Well, we want that to be behind our design. So we'll just take it and move it down and that puts it behind the design. And make sure that you're still clicked on the, this is a highlighted here and you can move it around wherever you want to. You can pick the frame you want to put it in. So I'm going to put it in this one right here. Now we can size it for this frame. So we're going to shrink it back down. And then it's whatever you think looks best to you. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. But I think I like that right there. As you can see, it's a little bit behind this one and this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim this down. But you can't trim it down just by bringing in the lines. You have to come over here and click on Vector Crop Tool. Click on that. Now you'll see these little circles have moved to like little lines. So we'll drag this one in so it's not underneath of that other one. Drag this one in. And that's fine. I mean, you don't have to worry about the top and the bottom. It's not behind any of these others. Come back over here to the Move tool and click on it. Or just click off the screen. And now that photo is placed. And you just repeat this process for each photo. And that's why I picked one with several. That way we can do a few of them. So we're going to come back over here to Place Image Tool. Click on that. Click on your next photo open and now another way you could do this without having been a huge photo is just click on your left mouse button and drag it out like this that way you don't have to shrink it down now we're going to take this photo and I'm going to put it on this one here so we're going to make it a little bit bigger so it covers the frame now we want to now remember this is a layer also so it's on top again we want to move this behind the design. So if it's above the design, it's on top. If it's below, it's behind. So highlight that and move it back behind the design. Okay. Now you're just going to adjust that again to the size you want. Obviously, you don't want any of the edges showing. And you can shrink it down a little bit and move it over. Okay, now this one here's we don't need to crop it down because it's not too big and it's not covering any of the other designs. So just click off the screen and that one's placed. So we're going to go grab another one. Place image tool. And then we'll get the kitty cat right here. Hello. Click on that. Open. And again, left click and drag down. And then you can center it on top of the design that way you know how big you kind of need it okay we're going to move it to the back just by pulling it down to the bottom and then we can play around with it a little bit more we can shrink it down a little bit you just don't want to shrink it down inside of the uh, frame put it right there and you see how this one's this picture's turned a little bit well, if you click up here on this little dot, let me zoom in a little bit. If you click up here on this little dot at the top, it will actually turn your photo. See how it turns? So you can turn it to the right or you can turn it to the left. So I'm going to turn it just a little bit so it kind of matches, it lines up with the photo frame there. Okay. And that's going to fit right there. And then if we want to shrink this down a little bit so it's not too big. I don't think this one needs to be because it's not covering another photo. But I'm going to show you how to do that anyway. You're going to click on 
the vector crop tool and then you're going to pull that up just to make it so the photo is a little bit out of the way of the others and then click off the screen go back to the move tool the move tool is kind of the tool you'll use when not using any of these others okay let's go grab another photograph and put it right here so we're going to go to place image tool and like I said it doesn't have to be any certain shape because you can stretch it out or make it smaller and uh, let's just take this one for instance click it open and put it on this left click drag down okay so you can see like this one here is going to be way wider than any of your frames so how, what do we have to do about that well you can find a different design that will accommodate a bigger photo so you can get everybody in it let me show you what's going to happen if we try to shrink it down to fit it into a frame so if I shrink it down you can see it's not going to cover the whole the whole frame so this photo here well, may not be a good choice for this particular design but what you could do come over here to vector crop tool and let's just bring in the sides some of this we don't need okay over here bring in the side and then click onto the move tool click onto your image again and this time you can drag it bigger cover your little frame there and now we're going to move it to the back okay so you can see it's still covering the whole frame right here but we need to shrink it down just a little bit and try and get everybody in there but you can't shrink it down too much because if I shrink it down where I can get everybody in there you're going to have this gap up here and that's going to show on your design so we'll try to make it a little bit bigger and like I said this photograph here you really can't get everybody to fit in there that well so that may not be this particular shape design may not be a good fit for that photo but we'll go with this for right now and click off the screen and we have two left so we'll go get another one for this photo right here so you're going to click on place image tool we're going to select an image open left click pull down and make it so it just covers your design and then drag it down to the bottom which puts it behind and now we'll just move this down kind of center it a little bit we can stretch it out a little bit move it down like that now it's way down here so if you want to you can come over here to the vector crop tool I mean it's not hurting anything but I'm just showing you how to do this should it if it would have came down and covered this picture right here and then just move that up out of the way and then go back to move tool and then click off the screen and now that one is placed and if you want to go back and change any of these, all you have to do is click on the picture over here. Let's say I want to move this one around a little bit. I click on this one right here and it highlights it. And now I can make I can stretch it out. I can make it smaller. I can turn it. And then click off the screen and it's placed how I want it. So let's go grab this last one right here. Um, it's the place image tool let's get a dog okay open it up left click drag down okay I made this one big on purpose okay I'm gonna take and I'm gonna place that behind so I just want the dog I don't need the whole room and so I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit. Remember, just use the corners because if you use this, this, 
this or this is going to stretch it out of proportion it's not going to look look right you're going to have a dog well let me show you so if i try to stretch it this way now i got a dog that's way too long or if i try and shrink it in and it's, it's just not the right proportion that the photograph i mean you can if you want to but i like to try to keep the same proportions as the photograph if I mess that up, I just click delete, go back and place image tool, get the dog again, open, left click, pull down, and see it's already back behind there because that's where it was at before. So I'm just going to move him over here and center a little bit, and then I'm going to turn it a little just to line it up with the frame. Pull it over and this is not covering any of the other photographs so I don't need to use the vector crop tool left left click and we have our photos placed how we want them and like I said if there's if you decide oh, I don't want to use this photo here because everybody doesn't fit in there just click on it over here and press delete it's gone now you can go find a photo that will fit in there by clicking place image tool and click on the photo open left click drag down and place that photo in there and if you want to turn it a little bit to kind of match the if you look right here you can use this edge of the frame and this blue line as a guide so when i rotate it kind of make them kind of straight like to each other and then click off and now my photos are placed okay so now we have our photos placed um, I can cl click control and the minus button and that will make my designs my uh, design smaller what well, won't make the design small it makes the view smaller and I click the control and the plus sign and that will zoom in control minus zoom out yeah that's what I was looking for so my design is still the same size it's 9.4 by 8.2 it doesn't matter if I zoom in or zoom out it's still 9.4 by 8.2 okay so we have our design we like the way the photos are now we want to group these we so it will all stay where we put it so we're going to press control a that selects everything then control G that groups it all into one big group so now when we move it around everything will stay as a group because if you don't group these and try and move it then all the photos will stay there and everything else will move or just one photo will be moving so you have to make sure you group it first also something I should show you on affinity designer is if you make a mistake you can always come up here to edit and undo it's like going back to the last thing you did edit unselect so now they're not grouped anymore and that just um, it kind of rolls you back to the what you so you don't have to do it all over again so like I said to group these control a control G now they're all grouped as you look over here it's all one big group and um, you can still edit if you want to by either ungrouping you can click right ungroup or you can just select you can just highlight the one you want to edit which is probably the easiest thing to do if you want to change something okay so now we have our design and we're ready to print it out now I like to add a little bit of vibrance to my designs make sure your group is highlighted come down here to the adjustments go to vibrance and then increase it to 40 percent and then your saturation to 10 percent I use this on all my tumblr designs click off and you can see this is all still a group okay so this I've added vibrance to it now 
this is without vibrance this is with vibrance it's I mean it's not a big difference but it's enough to tell on a tumbler without with okay so now you're ready to print this out well you can't print it out this way this is horizontal it won't print out right we need to print it um, vertically in portrait mode okay so click on the left side or the right side right over here and click on document setup now under dimensions click on this button right here it says portrait click OK so that turned your um, paper to portrait mode or your format so now we need to turn our design to match that so click on the design and click rotate now you can rotate it left or you can rotate it right it doesn't really matter just remember this is the way your printer is going to print so you want your design the same way your printer is going to print I always turn mine to the left so um, it's not a big deal make sure you're still centered you can check with the lines green line the red line is centered or you can just come up here click align horizontally and align vertically apply okay so it's centered on our paper when I when it prints out on our eight and a half sheet of um, sublimation paper it's not going to show any of this white right here this will just be a white piece of paper and then your design and what you do is you take and you trim it on your rotary trimmer or whatever paper trimmer you have and you trim it down there right now it's 9.4 by 8.2 now if it's overlapping too much just trim a little bit off the edges if it's a little too tall just trim a little bit off the bottom of the top that's all you have to do so now our design is ready to print come up here to file print and you should see your printer or in, under this printer I have three printers um, you'll see some other stuff too but don't worry about that just look for your printer I've got this 15,000 set up for sublimation and I've got a 4760 set up for sublimation and then I have my ET2760, which I use to print my labels and business cards and all that other stuff. So if I wanted to print this on my 4760, I would click on this, go to Properties. And then I have another video that shows you how to set all this up. And this is your preset, and mine's set up for a mirrored image. I click OK. So I came up here. I found my printer. I click properties I click mirror image okay come down here to color management I want my color handling performed by my printer and then I want the rendering intent to be relative color metric it kind of gives a little pop to your color then I will click OK and it will print but not on mine because I got it shut off right now but it should print on your printer if it's hooked up properly so hopefully this video has helped you. Um, I may have made a few mistakes, but hopefully you got the uh, you got the gist of it all, and uh, you'll be able to uh, edit your photos and put them in a design and print it out. And if uh, this helped you, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, thanks for watching.